Hello everyone, my name is Alara, I'm a freshman in the SFS, and today I'm going to help you choose which Georgetown undergrad school is best for you. So you see that applications are due January 10th, very important, and you're stuck, you don't know which school to apply to. Well, I was in the same situation last year, and I am here to help. Georgetown has four different undergrad schools. The college, the School of Foreign Service, the School of Business, and the School of Nursing and Health Studies. In this video, I'm going to give an overview of each of the schools, talk about their core requirements because it's very important when distinguishing the schools, and then talk about how your current passions can align with which one you want to apply to. I got my Georgetown merch, I got my tea, which is probably cold because it's like my fifth take, and let's get started. So Georgetown undergrads need to follow this thing called the core requirements. So they're courses that consist of like humanities, diversity, philosophy, science, and no matter if you're in the nursing school or if you are a student at college, you still have to follow these core requirements. You have your university specific core. So all students, no matter what school they're part of, must follow the core. And then you have your school specific core. So the SFS has a different core to the MSB, etc. And then finally, you have the core for your major, so certain classes that you have to take to fulfill your major. So if you are feeling a little lost about which school is best for you, a really good way is to just break down these core requirements and see the differences between each of the schools and then choose what's best for you. Let's start with Georgetown College, the oldest of the schools. From the website, it says Georgetown College is committed to the Jesuit traditions of an integrated education and of productive research in the natural sciences, humanities, social sciences, and fine arts. So when applying on the application, you're going to see that there are three faculty. One for these humanities and social science courses, one for linguistics, and one for sciences. In the first faculty, you can find majors like African American studies, anthropology, economics, government, psychology. And then the language faculty is not just about learning the language, but also studying its literature and cultures. And there are so many courses and languages that Georgetown offers in order for you to meet these. So they offer languages in everything from Turkish, Mandarin, and Arabic, things, oh yeah. And then for the STEM kids out there, we have the science faculty, so you can find majors like biochemistry, computer science, mathematics. The core in the college is the most similar to the university core. Because of its less rigid core requirements, it provides a lot of flexibility for people who want to study many things or don't exactly know what they want to study yet, because you have until sophomore year to declare a major. The college gives you a lot of freedom to explore these different academic paths, have minors, certificates, and so if you aren't ready to commit yourself to a specific study like business or international affairs or nursing, then the college is for you. Number two, the SFS, School of Foreign Service. So as it says on the website, uh, the School of Foreign Service grounds the study of international affairs in liberal arts, with students examining a range of problems in the world today from many perspectives, including economics, history, and political science. On top of the university core, the SFS core has additional courses in government, history, economics, and geography. You also need to be proficient in a language to graduate, so even though the university core actually uh, wants you to take a language until the intermediate level, the SFS goes a step further. The language exam is actually modeled after the State Department exam, so once you get proficiency, you're able to graduate. Even though the SFS also has a science requirement, it's also very international affairs based. For example, there's a course like examining crises through the lens of science. As you can see, it has that international affairs aspect and that science aspect. Some of the majors include culture and politics, global business, international politics, and science technology international affairs. I personally am in the SFS, so I love how I can also uh, take minors from the college. So I'm very interested in taking a psychology or sociology minor. So you like global business. Now you gotta ask yourself, what are the concentrations in global business? Does it interest you? Do you like the requirements? Are you okay that it's more rigid or more flexible than the other majors that you can take? I know this seems a little overwhelming right now, but what I did last year, which really helped me, was just trying out the different combinations and possibilities. So seeing from a major, what are the core requirements, what courses are they offered, and it's really easy if you just search it up, Georgetown has all of these available uh, for you to read. By asking yourself these questions, you not only get to understand what interests you and how those interests will fit at Georgetown, but also a path you can follow if you go to Georgetown. Number three, McDonough School of Business. So, the School of Business is a national and global leader in providing graduates with essential ethical, analytical, financial, and global perspectives. The Business Corps has much more specific courses in economics, finance, marketing, accounting. As you can see here, it has a much more wide range of like numbers, heavy, but also liberal arts courses. Some of the major examples include finance, international political economy and business, operations and analytics, which is new this year, 
and each one of these has its own curriculum. So I want to give an example of the differences between the schools using an example of a major. So political economy. This major has variations in both the college, SFS, and MSB. In the college, political economy is in the Department of Economics and Government. It's less focused on the interactions between countries like SFS might do, but more on the political science of it. So the courses emphasize political theory, uh, behavioral economics, finance markets. In the SFS, it's called International Political Economy. You have classes on state and institutions with economic prosperity, political economy of inequality, there's also a quantitative research lab, and then finally the MSB, it's called International Political Economy and Business. In this case, the classes focus on trade, marketing across borders, uh, and business government relations. So within each of these three schools, you can see that one focuses more on theory, the other focuses more on the interactions between countries, and the other focuses on business. And then finally, we have the NHS. It is different from all the other undergrad schools at Georgetown because it's more focused on the sciences specifically and also global health rather than a more social science liberal arts. So on the website, it says the School of Nursing and Health Studies houses dynamic degree programs in the health sciences and aims to promote health equity and improve population health locally, nationally, and globally. NHS students still take the university core, but then they have their own core requirements for each of their majors, and they can also choose a pre-med or a pre-dental track. NHS is probably the most rigid out of these schools because it has requirements for each year. So, the four majors are nursing, human science, healthcare management and policy, and global health. Let's say you choose global health as your major. Some of your course requirements are like language of health and disease, maternal and child health, and globalization and health. As you can see, it's not just pre-med or science courses. A lot of times you get to study health problems in developing countries, you get to learn about initiatives that address health inequalities across the world. You definitely have science heavy courses, but it blends public health and healthcare systems. Uh, so you can even take classes in leadership. As you can see, it's much more uh, encompassing. Overall, I personally think that the Georgetown education is very wholesome. It encapsulates so much within each school, but then depending on your passions, you get to choose which one is right for you. Maybe you did DECA in high school and you felt that thrill from presenting all those business proposals and you want to continue that in your future, so you choose to apply to the MSP. Maybe you were that slightly aggressive mun kid who dominated at conferences and you want to spend your life researching foreign policy and innovation, so you choose the SFS. Maybe you are a student who is known for participating and creating all these new clubs at school and you don't want to be confined within a scope, but you want to explore so many different majors, so you choose the college. Maybe you got first places in all these robotic competitions, so you choose to do the science faculty in the college. Maybe you love anthropology and you're very interested in human dynamics, so you choose to do the anthropology major in the college. Maybe you're fascinated by the role that health plays in advancing the world. You love STEM, but you also want to get those liberal arts classes. Uh, you did HOSA in high school, so you choose to apply to the NHS. So as you can see from all these examples, Georgetown has unlimited opportunities. So explore the website, see what gets you excited. We hope to welcome you to the Hoya family. Bye! And please start your essays.